Hi, Jeff Higley with HotelNewsNow.com. I'm here at the NYU Hospitality Industry Investment Conference at the Marriott Marquis. With me is Marcel Verbas, the President and CEO of Inland American Lodging Group. Marcel, thanks for taking the time to talk. Appreciate it. No problem. Happy to be here. Can you give us a, a quick overview of, of your position in the lodging industry? You have about 90 hotels, right? Yeah, we do. We, um, we currently own 90, 90 hotels. We're about to acquire three more hotels. Um, and uh, it's really kind of a mix between full service and select service hotels. Um, we've been investing primarily in full service hotels the last few years, but we have uh, a legacy portfolio that includes a lot of select service hotels. When you talk about full service, um, uh, that's a very tough field to be in or a tough segment to be in right now with, uh, with F&B as a challenge. How do you view that? Obviously you like the segment and want mm -hmm. to continue in it. What are the challenges and, and advantages of being in that segment? Um, we, we have been investing a lot in full service hotels like you like you pointed out and we do believe that we're not as focused on just saying hey, we want to be in the select service space or we want to be in the full service space. We want to be in assets that we think are good viable locations long term and you know, on the full service side we actually feel like there's a lot of pent up demand that could be coming in the next few years. Mm -hmm. and, Clearly, when you look at the replacement costs on select service, things are a lot closer to replacement costs than they are on the full service side. So we don't think there's going to be, um, there won't be as many supply additions on the full service side in the next few years. So we believe that as group business comes back, um, there's a lot of ancillary spend that will come back in that space as well. And are you, uh, would you consider yourself a value add player? Are you looking to flip those uh, assets or do you look at those as long term asset holds? No, we, we definitely look at it as long term holds. Um, we do view some of the acquisitions we made as value adds propositions, but we're very focused on yields getting into acquisitions. So we just look at it as, as you know additional value that we're creating in this part of the cycle. Um, you know, both through just kind of operational asset management, um, you know, issues, but also improvement of the assets. And, and we've, we've bought a number of assets that we felt were somewhat, you know, capital deprived for some period of time. Mm -hmm. So us putting the money into those and kind of working with operators, working with brands, we think it's going to make those assets look very strong. Long. We've been more focused on investing in markets 6 through 20 because we can get our in initial yield that we're looking for. And we also do believe that longer term, uh, people will start investing in those markets much more heavily than they have in the last few years. And mm -hmm. I think we're seeing a lot of that right now. Um, you know, I think you're, you know, I'm sure you're seeing that as well, that a lot of the um, either public guys or private capital are looking to invest in those type of markets now. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we've we just found that the right blend between yields and capital appreciation has been more in those type of markets for us than, uh, than you know, reinvesting in Manhattan or downtown San Francisco or those type of markets. Mm -hmm. We do play in some of those markets, but it's been a little bit more on the um, on the periphery of some of those. We we bought the Marriott San Francisco Airport, for example, um, and that's been a, a great buy for us. You know, it's been very strong yield. So you're you're benefiting from all the positives in those markets, but you're still be able to get in at a yield that makes sense for us. You recently acquired the Andas San Diego, yep. a luxury property, and you mentioned earlier that luxury is probably in your target uh, for additional acquisitions. Yep. What 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 is it about that segment that attracts you and is there anything that you worry about being involved in that? Well, you know, when we invest in luxury, we're still looking at um, getting getting invested at the right level and you know I don't think you will see us buying the true luxury resorts and the you know the luxury you know four or five hundred million dollar kind of investments what we do is we target specific investments in specific markets where we feel like you can still invest below replacement costs and your long-term um, valuation number makes sense